Jimmy! Rescuing Agatha. Fire's in there. at least six. Maybe that sort of sign, Charles. That's what my boss uses. Oh, right. Him. I mean, why would anyone want to build a casino in Snoth? It's hardly Monte Carlo, is it? Telling me that after seeing Mr. Weldon's body in the lobby, you were attacked by a bear? Of course I'm not. I was knocked out by someone in a bear costume. I've been doing some digging, Mrs. Raisin. Murder seems to follow you around. Well, I'm afraid it comes with the job. Sixteen years I've been policing Snoth. And murder wise, we've amassed a big fat null points till you got here. Well, in that case, I think you're going to need my help to investigate it then. Now, will you stop doing that? Sorry. I think. Mean, my wife put him on a hot wash. Why were you in the victim's room after the fire alarm went off? Remove this flagrant abuse of human rights and maybe, just maybe, we can talk. Not while you remain a suspect and a flight risk. Answer the question. The door was open. I was checking to make sure everyone had got out. Bullshop. A.K.A. I don't believe you. Oh, my head hurts again. I'm not sure I'm strong enough to do this right now. Would you mind? I saw Harry Bean in a teddy bear costume yesterday. Is that the dishy receptionist? He's not that dishy. No, my instinct tells me it wasn't Harry who attacked me. What about Brian? Oh, or Chelsea. I had eyes on Chelsea the entire time. She didn't leave the dining room until the fire alarm went off. Which was after Wayne was killed. Right, listen, when I went into Wayne's room the second time, that room had been ransacked. It sounds like the killer was looking for the stolen jewellery too. Well, he probably got the key off Wayne on the stairs while we found the slider. He'd have put up a fight, though not necessarily a very effective one. So did the killer intend to murder this Wayne chap? Or was it just about gaining access to his room? Well, listen to this. Bill told me that Ronnie Black had brutally attacked two fellow inmates. And he was released from prison a fortnight ago, so surely he's up there. Well, on hold that thought. Sorry, so much been going on here. I almost thought about this. I couldn't get into my writing yesterday, so I did some investigating. This is Ronnie Black at his trial. Hold on. I think I recognise him. Silver car, lurking outside the hotel the day we arrived. Black fluffy dice hanging from his rear view mirror. Very retro. Boom. Oh, okay. Ooh. You need to rest. Yeah, she's right, Agatha. Come on. Okay, okay. No, so much at you, Wing. Have a word with Harry. You two, see what you can find out about Ronnie Black and his fluffy dice. So you don't get bored. Hi there. Sir Charles Frank. Pleasure to meet you, Miss Shaw. How can I help you, gentlemen? We're looking for Harry. Well, that makes three of us. He should have started work an hour ago, and he's not answering his phone. Could we have his address? I... I know it's terribly cheeky of us, but it's super important that we speak with him. Have you seen this map? Mm. 
blow dice. You reckon the killer set off the fire alarm? Well, I mean, it makes sense. Probably heard me scream. Figured Wayne's body had been found pretty sharpish and wanted the hotel emptied while they looked for the jewellery. <sighs> Note to self, no more weird freakouts when confronted by the dead. I mean, what on earth possessed you to bring a woman like Agatha to a place like Snot-on-Sea? Snot's history is a big part of my new book. Some people find the town charming. You really don't know her at all, do you, Leslie? Give me that. Hello? Yes, this is she. Oh. Now you want to talk to me, do you? Oh. Okay, okay. Well, I will be down in... 15 minutes? Okay, just, just... Oh. Oh. Miss Brian Jankers wants to talk to me. Got something important to tell me. What about your head? Oh, 100% better now. Probably just low blood sugar. Look, here we go. Mm. Mm. Oh, Ding. One wobble and it's back to bed. Oh. Jimmy and Manolo really would not approve. Could he get changed? Would you call that silver or grey? Dark slate. Oh, look, an ice cream van. Roy, we're in the middle of a manhunt. Yes, so we show the sketch to the ice cream man or woman. You never know, Ronnie Black might have fancied a Mr Whippy. I left my uh, bear costume in the staff room. Job. I guess the killer must have swiped it. Do many people have access? Well, it's rarely locked, so, yes, lots. How come you're not at work? <laughs> Marcia relies on me a bit too heavily. I just needed a day off. Chablo? Hang on, Vicar of the Gods. I think I should go Lolly or Cone. Roy, he's in him. When? This is just now. Said he went that way. Running a bit late. <clears throat> Twelve o'clock. Look. That's our boy. Located the bandit. The bandit. Oh, the bandit. Yes. Uh, where? Snuff Pier. He's aged quite a bit. He's on the move. We're following him. Listen, you keep your distance. The man is dangerous. entered the palace. Oh. 
moody. Spread out. Really? Look where we are. It reeks of the last place you'll ever see. Where is the safety in numbers? You'll be fine. You have a bucket. Your trip advisor score any favours. Come on, Janet. Casino it is then. Viva la snoth. That is a Fairburn Sykes fighting knife. As used by the Royal Marines. Archie? Well, we had a poke around down there, and the lock mechanism on the staff side door has been glued open. And I came in that way yesterday, so it's been messed with since then. Well, do you think maybe the killer glued it in order for Ronnie Black to get in? I noticed something else odd. I'm sure there's a perfectly good explanation for this, but I went to tell Marcia why I wasn't at work today. <laughs> but I couldn't find her. What time was this? Half past one. I checked my watch. At exactly the time the killer was in the basement. I waited at reception, and when... She returned, she seemed agitated, and, and her shoes were dusty. The basement? Normally she's very particular about her appearance. You're not seriously suggesting that the fragrant Marcia murdered that oafish thug of an ex-con, are you? Did Marcia know about your bear costume? Yes, all the staff did. And Mr. Miller. He made fun of me for wearing it in the gym. Oh, Terry Miller, he seems to be hanging around this hotel an awful lot, doesn't he? Does Miller drive a white Range Rover with private number plates? He does. Oh, well, he at least looks capable of tossing someone over a balustrade and of being handy with a knife. Right, gentlemen, I need you to go on a little excursion for me. Up the coast. Well, I can't go, can I? Mind if we borrow Marilyn? Be kind to her. going to be? I'm okay. I'm just a bit shaken up is all. Look, I'm really proud of you, but please be careful. Did you get a look at the killer's face? No. I had my back to whoever shoved me. I have no idea what they look like. It's good you came, Bill. I feel we need all hands on deck now. What are you wearing? Can I take your order? Yeah, um, I'd like a glass of champagne. Oh, it's you. It is? Yeah. Um, I'm sorry I didn't turn up before. I am... Um... I had a migraine. Right. That'll be all the stress, Brian. Yeah, I was going to call you after I'd eaten. You said you had something important to tell me. I do. Our honeymoon wasn't meant to be in Snuff. We had planned to go to Paris. But a fortnight ago, Geraldine changed the plans. Why did she do that? Well, she did mention that, um... That she wanted to go back to her roots. So do you think that this sudden change of destination had something to do with the murders? The day we arrived, Geraldine was on her phone. And I overheard her calling the person on the other end. Tam. What, Tam as in Tammy 
Short of a Thompson. Well, actually, it seemed like she was talking to a man. Oh. So I asked her about this Tam, mm. and she said it was just an old schoolmate. And then just changed the subject. The fact that my wife didn't say she was an old school friend ah. just increased my suspicion. Right. So you think she was maybe having a, an affair? No. Mr. Jank has had a lover in Snoff. Well, if she did, I hope they had a better time in bed than me and her. Oh, God. Because now, oh. um, there's a wait around here somewhere. Champagne, right? Yeah. In her memory. Of course. She loved a glass of fizz. What do your tattoos mean? Oh. Never forget. My parents died when I was young. Reminds me they were here. Did Wayne ever mention stolen jewellery? Armed robbery. Is my necklace from the robbery? It might well be. Oh, am I going to have to give it back? Maybe. Probably best not to wear it until all this is sorted. That's the nicest thing Wayne's ever given me. How long had you known him? Six and a bit months. We met at a bar, not on Tinder. <laughs> Wayne said it was fate what brought us together. On account of me being a Chelsea. What? That's his team. Oh. <laughs> well, it was his team. Sorry. The owners are not happy. Three murders now. Well, we are working on it. Where were you at 1.30 p.m. today? <laughs> I was inspecting one of the outbuildings, rodent issues. Oh. Was Geraldine originally from Snoth? Is that how you two knew each other? Yeah, she lived here till she was 18, then moved to London. But you managed to keep in touch? She'd make contact every few years, send a Christmas card, or call me late at night when she was in between husbands and feeling lonely. Mm. <laughs> Would you mind if I took a tiny little peek in your safe, please? <laughs> tiny bit of a problem. Oh. <laughs> After the second murder, I changed the password. It seemed like a sensible thing to do. Mm -hmm. I wrote it in my notebook, and now I can't find the bloody thing. <laughs> I'm hoping it'll turn up before I have to get a locksmith in to, to drill it. So Geraldine never asked you to put anything in there when she arrived for safekeeping? No, no. No? No. No. Okay. Well, you can tell the owners that we are inching our way closer. <laughs> Thank you. Just, just one more thing before I go. You don't happen to know someone called Tam, do you? Lives around here. Friend of Geraldine. Could be a man. No, sorry. Okay. Merci. <laughs> De rien. Leave me alone. You shouldn't have done that. Is this your Fairburn Sykes? My Fairburn Sykes disappeared a month after my father's gold light had vanished. Do you ever mention this to anyone? The night? You're joking, no. Not after Geraldine was so angry at me for accusing Wayne the first time. Yes. I think you're missing some balls, Bill. 
English billiards only uses three, apparently. Charles explained the rules to me once. To be honest, my mind drifted. Fair. Agatha? Yes? How did Chelsea respond when you asked her about the necklace? Oh, she didn't hesitate. She also wanted to know if it was hot or not. Mm. I think Marcia was lying. Yep. About losing the safe code. It would make sense putting the jewellery in there if Mrs Jankers did bring it with it to Snoss. So is Marcia slyly hanging on to the jewellery now that Geraldine and Wayne are dead, or is she in fact the killer? OK, this thing, this thing is officially driving me nuts. I can't even think straight! There has to be ways to take them off. Bolt cutters and a bucket of water. And you know that how? An ex-boyfriend. Wiltshire's Young Offender of the Year, 2017. Usually best not to ask her. Oh, sorry. Uh, I'm interrupting. Oh, no, 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 no problem. No, I was just after some chairs for Viva Las Vegas, but I can come back later. No, come on in. Don't be shy. Get the chairs. Get the chairs. Thank you. What is it, Harry? Uh, would you mind if I... No, go on. Terry. Adam Miller. Hmm. Um, Tam is also an acronym for trouble at Mill. His private number plate. Trouble. Nice. I like puzzles. Um, and also I saw his middle name on the planning notice. So. How well do you know Terry Miller? Outside of the hotel, not at all. But I've heard things, of course. Just rumours down the pub about how he made his money, but... Um, you know what people are like. I'm sure it's all cobblers. Come on, then. Okay, so uh, my friend's dad, who's um, a bit dodgy, reckons that Miller was into laundering money, and that's how he financed his first big property development. <laughs> so, so it appears Archie's fair version. According to the PNC, Terry Miller was arrested 15 years ago in Snoth for handling stolen goods, but the case never made it to court. Why not? All the evidence went missing. Who was the arresting officer? It says here, DS Martin Barrett. Oh, coincidence. Reckon he's a bent copper. Well, it would certainly explain a few things. Indeed. In that case, I think it may be time to get rid of this little chap. Oh, I'll see if the hotel's got bolt cutters. Oh. Uh. Uh, okay. Oh. Right, Roy's in position on the stairs in case Barrett sends in the SWAT team, because this might not be 100% effective. You tell me this now. <laughs> you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Yes! Need any help in here? No! Thank you! You might not want to see this. It'll help you maintain plausible deniability. Good call. Carry on. Oh, God, what now? You sounded anxious. Just look away like you're having an injection. I'll be fine. You might want to turn around, though. Just in case this all goes pear-shaped, don't want you having to lie to the police. I can always take a short vow of silence. Come here. Oh! Ugh. Yes! Oh! Ooh! Make sure that stays underwater. Oh! Yeah. Oh, oh, yes, 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 oh, yes, yes! Oh. Right, we need to get the boys some dinner suits. Well, mine's in the car, so I'm sorted. Of course it is, Charles. It's Viva Las Vegas time, people! Double or nothing, ready to roll. Double or nothing, baby, let's go. And I'm laying it on the line, and I'm playing to win. Hoping I don't take it on the chin. Double or nothing, let me ride. One of us should play with them. See how good they are at lying. Well. Sarah's the pro card shop. Uh, the thing is, I promised to give up. All oh, right, all right. I ain't got a system. I've just got a rhythm. Watch what I.
sorry about the pocket rockets. <laughs> Don't be. We dealt the better hand. Okay, ladies. Big blind, small blind. And I'm taking my shot. So come on and show me what you've got. Look at all those pretty diamonds. Adds to the buzz, don't you find? They call it the devil's game, you know. Roulette. Oh, I see. <laughs> Why? The numbers add up to 666. And the inventor supposedly sold his soul to you know who. Rather easy to do, I imagine. What's he doing here? Did he mention anything to you about coming tonight? No. So, if we buy that Wayne stole the knife from Archie, the question becomes who took it from Wayne? And when it was taken, if it was before or after he climbed his last flight of stairs. Chummy. Very. Not sure I'd have let tonight go ahead if I were the police. No. Maybe Terry twisted his arm. Oh, God. Don't. It's the best I could do. Harry very kindly sourced it from lost property. Okay. Right. I need you to keep tabs on Archie, the other gentleman in fancy dress, over at the blackjack table. Strike again, so Roy, you come with a vase. Sorry, sorry. You look amazing. Really? Yeah. You don't look too bad yourself, by the way. Thanks. Um, I was just gonna say your straps loose. That's oh, probably why we get that one. raising a ton of money for the Army Benevolent Fund, showing the locals what it would be like to have a crescendo casino in our town, where the fun would be 24-7. Yay. Now, I'd like to thank Mr. Max Hopkins, CEO of Crescendo Casinos, for kindly covering the cost of this evening. Thank you very much, sir. Max. Now, we'll be here all night answering any questions you've got about the developments, and I personally will be around for the free champagne breakfast, which I know a lot of you lot will be sticking around for. Get them out. Get them out. Get them out. Apologies. <laughs> Can we not get them out? The, the peaceful protesters, I mean. 
Now, good evening, everyone. I am Agatha, Agatha Raisin Private Detective and guest at this hotel. Now, <clears throat> I wanted to raise something which I thought was rather relevant. And then I promise, you can all go back to enjoying yourselves. Can I have the microphone, please? <laughs> I just wanted to check that due diligence had been done to ensure that all the main players of this casino project do not have a criminal background. Mmm. Because, obviously, casinos can attract money laundering gangs. And as we all know, that would be wildly inappropriate to have anyone with connections to that kind of organisation being instrumental in this development. Give me that! People like Terry Miller, whose number plate even spells trouble. Oh, and look at that. It would appear that our local CID don't want to hang around to be put on the spot and questioned about Terry Miller's criminal past. I wonder why. Keep Prince out! 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 You might have stalled the casino, but you've also made yourself a lifelong enemy of Terry Miller. I think he knew, Geraldine. What sort of stolen goods did you arrest him for handling? Was it jewellery? Oh, I think the big wigs want a word with you, big boy. Hey, look. Hey, I want my tag back. Hopkins cancelled a contract for me to build a casino. So you're going to burn the building down for the insurance money, are you? Well, some of us have got debts. That contract was the only thing keeping crescendo bosses from breaking every bone in my body. Ooh. Losing streak at the tables, was it? Your friend Geraldine called you last week, didn't she? Tam and asked you to fence the stolen jewellery. And you think I killed her for it? Well, you owe a lot of money to the wrong sort of people. <gasps> Look, I've done loads of things that I'm not proud of, but I've never killed a friend. You know, there is still a way out of this. Make sure you investigate improperly this time or I'm going to kick up one hell of a fuss. 
Like you did at Viva Las Vegas. Oh, that was me just shaking the tree to see what fell out. This would be far, far worse. Look, you're right. He's got foreign with backhanders and maybe even money laundering. But he's also got a rock-solid alibi for the night of Geraldine Janker's murder. He was with you? Bingo. N not literally, of course. We were night fishing. <sighs> Four other local anglers will confirm that. Always make a habit of getting pally with everyone you've arrested, do you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a small town. Sometimes we have to let the past be the past. Let the past be the past. Not everyone can do that, you know. Tricky. Most of us need to delete history at some point. I think we have been looking at this case all wrong. What if it's not about the jewellery? What if it's more about the armed robbery itself? Hmm? Right. Look up uh, Carters of Chiswick. But, there we go. Oh. Right. A body fished from the River Thames has been identified as Donald Carter. The coroner ruled it as death by misadventure, noting that he'd been walking home along the river after drinking heavily at a local pub. Then it mentions that his wife died six months before of a heart attack and them selling the jewellery store after a terrifying armed raid. Chelsea lost her parents when she was young. She's got these Chinese symbol tattoos on her arm. She told me that they meant never forget. What do the symbols look like? I saw them. I'll draw them for you. As we were playing poker, Brian joked that diamonds really are a girl's best friend, and that seemed to really upset Chelsea. And that's not right. Uh, I, I spent some time in Shanghai. I don't think that says never forget. Bill, can you take a look at this? Oh, I'm from Stroud, don't ask me. It says never forgive. Oh. Could this be Chelsea? Change the hair and yeah. Yes, it could be. We need to find her. <coughs> the bathroom is literally there. Oh. <laughs> Mister, will you play with us? Letting kids roam around a hotel. I mean, where are the parents? You can see them. Um... Come on, girls. Good morning. No. Oh, you smell of sick. I'm sorry. Last man standing, eh, Mr. Jankers? <laughs> Geraldine would have enjoyed Casino and I. Hmm. The glamour. The excitement. The money. Where's Chelsea? Went down to the pier.
Is that the jewellery Ronnie Black took from your parents at gunpoint? Samantha? He killed them. Not right there in the store, but that's what he did. So this is all about payback, then? Ronnie Black needed to be held accountable. So did Geraldine. She knew he was going to rob Carter's. With a sawn-off shotgun in their faces. Did she try and stop him? <laughs> no. The money-grabbing bitch encouraged him. Black got locked up for armed robbery. Geraldine went back to where she knew he'd hidden the jewelry, helped herself, and then promptly divorced him. She wasn't a stand by your man type. So it would appear. But why wait until now to try and sell it? Because when he went down, Geraldine knew the flying squad was still watching her. As long as she put up fencing it, the less chance there'd be that she'd be discovered. I see. But Ronnie Black's illness meant that he got released years earlier than expected. I'm guessing Mrs. Janker has got you to lock the jewellery in there while she waited for Terry Miller to take it off her hands. The safe, yeah, but she didn't mention him. Or that it was stolen. Neither did we. The stolen part, I mean. Oh, I can see why you've been keeping strum about it. Planning a long trip away somewhere sunny, are you? How did Ronnie Black know that his ex-wife was in snuff looking to flog his 24 carat pension? I tipped him off. Anonymous text. How did you get his number? For two years, I was Ronnie's prison pen pal. Oh? Though he thought he was corresponding with Chelsea Davis. <laughs> Not... Samantha Carter. Very clever. And then one day he... He told me about his medical symptoms and... I just knew. <laughs> Despite his violent past, it was only a matter of time before he'd be released. And that was when and why you got to know Wayne. As a way in with his mother. Yeah. Then when I knew Ronnie was about to get set free, I made sure Geraldine found out. Prompting her to contact Miller. But seducing Wayne? And having to be his girlfriend for six long months? That was a sacrifice. Though ultimately one that paid off. By strangling his mum. With my scar. <sighs> Sorry about that. I just couldn't resist picking it up and using it. <laughs> and then what? You got Ronnie Black to kill Wayne for you? By making him think it was he who had all the jewellery? <laughs> to be honest, I wasn't sure how that would play out. Well, no harm in parading it around the hotel, is there? After Geraldine's murder, just to make sure that everyone knew that it was from Wayne. My dad said it paid to advertise. It's good you figured it out. It's better that people understand. I have a 
that confession to make. I got you here under false pretenses. Oh, okay, James, listen. You and I are never going to You misunderstand work in... me. Not for romantic reasons, but for superstitious ones. I wanted things to be as they were when I wrote my first book. Because the Battle of Tickley's Knob was so successful in America. To everyone's surprise, including mine. <laughs> I'm not sure I can do it again. So I'm your lucky charm. <laughs> do you mind? No, gosh, absolutely not. In fact, um, I'm rather relieved. Thank you, madam. It's all my hands. Well, that's extremely kind, Lloyd. Uh, Miss Raisin? Yes. Your luggage has been brought down. Thank you, Harry. Just, just a sec. Tell me, what exactly are your plans? Uh, well, I'm due to start uni in the autumn, but the uh, hotel owners just offered me the job of junior manager. Ah. Well, Miss Shaw has been let go. So someone's recognised your potential, then? <laughs> or realised that I'm the only one who can work the reservation system. Ah. Either way, <laughs> I'm kind of undecided, so... Well, uh, just in case you ever fancy becoming a private detective, as soon as you like puzzles. <laughs> cool. Uh, thank you. Safe travels. <laughs> It would appear that the coffee is on the house, courtesy of Lloyd. Exactly who is Lloyd? 